so first things first, I know I need a haircut, all right? But let me explain to you guys why I'm not getting a haircut so soon. I'm not getting a haircut because I want the connections to be right before I decide to do a high taper because that's the only taper that I like getting. I don't like getting low tapers. You know, I don't like getting those baby tapers. So um, until my waves, uh, line up real perfect like this side is almost coming in nice So, you know when my sides start coming in perfect like that That's when I'll you know do my regular high tapers and decide to give myself a lineup I know I could do a lineup right now, but I don't like to do a lineup without getting a taper so, I mean, that's kind of defeating the purpose to me just to get a lineup. I might as well, you know what I mean, get a whole taper. So, I'm letting my edges kind of grow in as well. So, so that's the reason why I'm not getting a haircut. All right, let's just, I know, okay, I, I, I cut my own hair. I know that I don't have a haircut, all right? All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we can actually start talking about my waves. So, right now, man, um, as far as how long I've been brushing daily, um, I've been brushing, like I said to you guys, I've been brushing like five hours a day. What I'll do is I'll go on live after live, you know, jumping on people's lives. If anybody see me on Instagram, you would know that, you know, I do major sessions with waivers or, you know, on Facebook, I'll go on WRL, Waves Our Life, and, uh, you know, get my breast sessions on. Um, I actually went on Facebook telling, uh, showing everybody I brush, I really do brush five hours a day. Uh, now, I don't do a five hours straight. That's not, well, that's not what I do. I, I basically do um, an hour session at a time. So you don't have to, you know what I mean? You don't even have to brush five hours a day. Just make sure that you utilize your time, man. That's Make time for what you want. Right now, I want elite dope looking waves okay so i'm gonna take the time to, to 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 sit here and brush my hair whenever i get a chance um right now my waves my waves right now i feel like they're decent let me show you guys this side is my weakest side right now because it's not fully connected as you guys can see but you know it's coming in for for two months of waving I'm looking pretty good right now. So, right now I got my, my connections, not how I want them, but I kind, of, kind of, I kind of got my connections in a controlled state. It's not a bunch of forks, except on this side, okay? <laughs> except on this side, okay? It's not a bunch of forks, but it's, it's very connected, um, you know, than it was before. So, right now it's time to hone in on my uh, connections and how I'm brushing. So I, I, I literally just started brushing like slower and paying attention how I brush from my crown. Now that's very important on how you brush from your crown because especially if you have a swirl, everything comes from your crown. If your crown got a bunch of forks in it, chances are, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna mess up some connections down here at the bottom. So make sure you kind of hone in on how you're brushing your angles. So when it comes to uh, forks, and you got a lot of forks on one side and you're trying to get rid of them, um, if you're like a beginner, um, starting out just like I am, uh, not to say that I'm a beginner, but... So if you're a beginner starting out like I am, not to say that I'm a beginner in any type of way, but 
if you're uh, one of the people that kind of struggle with forks, you gotta learn your angle first, okay? Learn your angle first and then trust the process. That's the main thing, man. Don't switch up on your angles. Don't be sitting here brushing differently, um, trying to find a way to get rid of the forks. You gotta remain consistent. Keep brushing the same way um, every single time, especially, especially once you find your angle. So my left side is my weak side, mainly because I, when I pick up the brush, or even when I do a video, you guys know what side I get on. I get on my right side first, why? Because that's my side, you know what I mean? I'm right-handed, you know, I like using my right hand, so, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the hand, that's, that's the side that's going to uh, be better than everything else. But my left side, I don't really like go to you know, when I pick up the brush. And you have to know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to your weak side, you gotta stop brushing with the other side, that's good, and start brushing and picking up the brush and going to your weak side. Like, even I fail to do it, trust me, I fail all the time, but at least I know that, that way, you know, I could get a real good brush session on my left side, so. You just gotta know what areas your uh, your waves are weak at and really attack those areas. And one thing you gotta do is don't lie to yourself. You know how long you be brushing your hair? You know what I'm saying? Your waves gonna show when you, when you brushing. When you take that rag off and everybody look at it, your waves gonna show how much you be brushing and what side you be brushing more. So if one side looks good, everybody gonna know. So you might as well, you know, like, like Pick up that brush and go to your weak side first. Like I said, even I have trouble doing it, man. So I'm not telling you guys anything that, that I'm not struggling with myself. So the temperature of the area you brushing in, meaning like if, if you brushing in a hot environment, that is gonna affect your hair. Um, it's gonna cause your hair to frizz up. So if it's too, if it's a too hot environment, you might as well like get a couple of strokes in and then rag up and just wait until you can get under a cool, you know, environment. Because every time I brush and do an extreme brush session and I'm going in on one and they get hot, you know what I'm saying? My hair start to frizz up. So it started to get a little sweaty. It start frizzing up. So whenever that happens, I just know session's over. It's time to throw on a do-rag and just rag my stuff up because I, I ain't about to sit here and have my hair just frizzed up like that. So make sure make sure you uh, are in a controlled environment that that you know your hair isn't frizzing up and, and causing you to yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But yeah, I ain't got no product in my hair, man. I did the washing style yesterday, so I'm gonna add some of this meat mix and do a, a, a slight brush session uh, just to, 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 to lay everything down to have my hair pop a little bit more. Then I'm gonna rag up and this is gonna be over. So from the rest of the video, we gonna get an extreme brush session in, put some product in my hair and just, you know what I'm saying? Do what we do as waivers, let's, let's brush.
All right, so if you made it this long, in the comment section below, let me know how many of you guys actually brush with me and if I caught you or not. Is my, is my waves looking better than yours right now, all right? That's the, that's the thing I wanna know, all right? But it isn't about who's better. Uh, it's about the example of putting the work and the results will show, all right? So my results show that I'll be putting in mad hours, all right? So yeah, let me rag up real quick and we can end this off. All right, you guys, that's it. I'm done with my session. Make sure if you didn't, you know, brush with me this time, make sure you watch this video over again. Make sure you get a session in, just go to the timestamp where I was just doing a brush session. But if not, just watch the whole video again, man. Get your brush session on, man. That's how you're gonna progress in the game. That's how you're gonna get your waves to that next level. All right, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because my wave journey is going up. It ain't coming down, okay? It's going up, all right? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, all right? My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.